One of the great things about this conference has been the wonderful speakers that it has attracted. And none is more important than Professor Salim Youssef. Professor, you're suggesting in your talk here that we could reduce premature cardiovascular mortality and morbidity by 50% in a generation. Is that realistic? Absolutely. Um, uh, when I say premature, I mean below the age of 70 or 75. And uh, we now know most of the causes of cardiovascular disease. We know elevated blood pressure, elevated LDL, smoking are the main and modifiable causes. If we were able to modify all three, get people who smoke to stop smoking, control blood pressure, which affect 40% of the adults, and reduce uh, lipids by a low dose statin in the majority of people who are middle aged, we will have big impact. Now, that's not uh, alone. Drugs are not the only solution, it's lifestyle. And diet plays a major role, exercise plays a major role, avoidance of alcohol plays an important role. For certain, uh, there is no level of alcohol that's totally safe. Small levels may not harm you, but there's n no level, I would say, is, uh, is uh, helpful. And having a balanced diet in moderation is the right diet to go for. And then being active regularly, you know, walk wherever you can as opposed to sit, stand when you work rather than sit. Be active and be happy. You're going to live a long time. But to achieve this 50% reduction, right. it's got to go beyond the medical profession Absolutely. and even beyond the, and even beyond the patients, hasn't yes. it? It's got to go to governments, it's got to go to other authorities, it's got to go to the food industry. I think there's something that it's got to go to even before that, and that is education. If you educate people, they will learn what the right thing to do is by themselves. They will seek the treatments and the, and the health checks. And in our studies, we find that education is the biggest driver for better health. So I think I'd start with education. Sure, we need the government on site. We need the food industry on site. But the food industry reacts to what medical guidelines are. So if you, if, they tell, if you tell the food industry that certain things are good and certain things are not so good, they will try to reformulate their food to meet that. But we have to work with them. We can't vilify them. Tobacco is different. There's nothing about tobacco that's redeeming. So I think uh, we should try to completely eliminate tobacco if that's possible. Um, the, and uh, getting people to be active is the easiest thing in the world to do. Get them to walk. You know, if you have to go somewhere and it's less than a kilometer or two, walk as opposed to drive or take a bus if, as long as you can do it. If you can walk up three flights of stairs instead of taking an elevator, do so. Exercise is the least expensive and the most accessible form of uh, health behavior that will help. And uh, check your blood pressure once a year. And if it is elevated, simple, inexpensive drugs that are safe will reduce it. And if you've got diabetes, high blood pressure, or a previous history of heart disease, take a statin at low doses. So these are very simple things to do and can have a huge impact. So you always speak with great confidence. How confident are you that this goal that you've challenged this conference with will actually be delivered? Uh, I am confident uh, because it's been done in the past, uh, certainly in the countries I mentioned. I'm confident because the tools we have are available. I'm confident because the uh, physicians will find that they're doing something useful that will make a difference to their patients. Uh, most of the drugs needed for this um, assault on cardiovascular disease are off patent, they're generic, and can be accessed quite inexpensively. Where I'm less confident is whether physicians are equipped to make uh, changes in people's health behaviors. So I believe 
therefore we need to go beyond physicians. We need non-physician health workers involved um, in this effort. Nurses who can be trained, we have a study in Colombia and Malaysia where through nurses who are specially trained for three months, that's all it takes, extra training, they are implementing cardiovascular prevention in the villages. Uh, we are not the only one who done that, others have done it too, through community health workers. So community health workers, nurses are part of it. But remember, I talked about education. If you educate people, they will learn what to do. And if they don't know what to do, they'll seek it out. They will seek out the health care they need. Education is number one. Professor, it's always inspirational to talk to you. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you.